we're starting to see quite a bit of concern. COVID-19 is popping up in Treasure Valley schools, forcing hundreds of students and staff into quarantine. Perhaps it should come as no surprise that cases are climbing following the return to in-person learning and the Labor Day holiday. Our Joey Prechtel looked into this issue for us tonight. He's live now with a look at COVID-19 in our schools. Joey. Yeah, Kim, as schools reopened, that obviously created more face to face opportunities between students and their teachers. But across this region, several hundred students are missing time in class after either being quarantined because of a possible exposure to COVID-19 or actually testing positive for the virus itself. Southwest District Health covers six different counties and between those counties, more than 300 students and staff members are in quarantine after a possible exposure to COVID-19. Some of those students are in the Emmett School District, which is reporting its first confirmed case of COVID-19 among students with two more students considered probable. These cases are at the high school and to play it safe, school is canceled on Friday. It's a safety precaution not only for our students, but also for our staff. Down in Owyhee County, more than 200 students and staff are in quarantine. A large portion of that comes from the Marsing School District. Their superintendent says that one secondary staff member tested positive, then they had three probable cases. So now grades three through five are learning from home until the end of the month. They are actually increasing. Uh, we have over 55 schools right now that have had COVID presented to them, whether through students or staff. Now moving over to Central District Health, which covers four counties, Ada, Elmer, Boise, and Valley. The cases are concerning to Gina Pinnell, a program manager with the Health District. The pace that we're seeing with many of our bigger districts, not even fully in person yet, um, is, is not sustainable as it is. Across the four counties, roughly 250 students and staff are in quarantine. That's a very high number and could quickly turn us into a case rate that puts us back into category three. In Glens Ferry, school is closed until October 6th. This is because multiple people tested positive for COVID-19. However, the district didn't give a specific number. Pinnell's advice to both families and schools, reduce the amount of people you're in close contact with. If your child is exposed in a school setting and does become infectious, or is it an additional basketball team? Is it additional family members? What is it a barbecue? Is it some of these social activities that we're seeing outside? And we're seeing multiple contacts again um, for individual cases. Another thing Pinnell recommends is to wear a mask at all times, especially when inside, because if a child is exposed or if a, an adult, a teacher is exposed to COVID-19, the chance of actually getting the virus reduces significantly if both people are wearing masks. Kim? Yeah, we're moving in the wrong direction here. Joey, thank you.